everything Chris Everything Chris Everything Chris Everything 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 Chris Everything Chris Everything Chris Everything everything Chris It was it was jokes, good team. So how was that like growing up in that environment, Birmingham, with all those great talents around there? Like, was it very competitive for you, or was it just, you know, you just got along with it? Like, and was it very supportive as well? Yeah, I just got got along with it really. I think, um, like, especially in my college days, because in my college there wasn't really a a girls basketball team, or there was, but it wasn't like a great girls basketball team, you know what I mean? So I trained with the guys every day. So I was training with, um, I can't even, like Miles was on, I was training with Miles, training with like Tiv and Cohen, Samuel McPherson, like loads of these guys that are now playing like... National. I don't know. Miles. National, they're now playing National League and obviously Miles, you know what he's gone on to do. Um, so playing against them, I think that's what really made me so tough and then because I was playing with boys before I was even playing with girls again that's why like it was actually difficult for me to transition into the girls game yeah, because yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it was a different like the form you know, like, that I would use against some of the guys if I used it against the girls it was very obvious that like like it's you know what I mean like against the guys it would just be sort of like me standing my ground but against the girls it was like I was flinging them you know what I'm saying so um, I had to adjust <laughs> I still struggle to this day <laughs> oh I could imagine just playing with the boys and you just like yeah yeah you just they, they, their physicality is obviously not the same obviously because you're used to yeah. that you're playing against guys like Miles and that what was exactly. Miles like in his younger days was he was he still do you know what he he was if I'm being honest he was average. He was he was really average in um you would ne You never imagine that he I don't was think the person that you know. Yeah, I don't think like seeing him in college, yeah, I would have thought but he was um he wasn't that tall. I don't oh, I don't no. feel like I remember remember him being that tall in college. Like I feel like in college he had some like big growth spurts. Okay, okay. Uh, and so yeah, he was all right. He was all, he's always been a hard worker, always worked really mm -hmm. hard. So obviously when you put in work like that over a prolonged period of time, you're going to, success is going to come in some form or another. Do you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he was like spectacular. He would have, you, like he, I don't, I'm, I don't think he made any of the England squads. No, not back then. No, like, no, I remember. Like junior. So like that 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 kind of shows, but then again, I don't think Kofi did either, and I think that was no, a big no. mistake. Um, yeah, Kofi I think a lot of the Birmingham guys were overlooked. Yeah, Co yeah, Kofi had a had a different route. He really he really came a long way, man. So where he is now, yeah. it's, it's 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 shown that he's yeah, hundred percent. Especially after everything that he's like oh. had to come back from and that, and, all his surgeries and that. And his mad. Shooting, shooting touch is ridiculous. Woof. Yeah, it's all always been like that. Ooh, always. Just, 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 and it's funny because back then I couldn't shoot any. Yeah. Like, I couldn't shoot. At junior basketball, yeah. Bro, I used to make all my baskets from layups. Yeah. I, there's no way I was going to shoot it. Yeah. And he would would be like cash from the yeah, three point line. He needs to It's like he would it, like, honestly. Yeah, he always used to make fun. Nice, nice. So um, that England experience, how was that anyway? And you know, you told us how it came about. How, how was it for you anyway? Did you what, what? What did you take from that experience going forward? It was it was really good. Um, under 16s, obviously that was an eye opener. Because I, I found, I tell you what, there was a big gap between the under 15 development squad and the actual under 16s England squad. So I think one time I got called up like early, and I got my ass kicked. Like. Like, honestly, I, I, and I was going into it and it thinking, oh, this is going to be easy. I'm just going to make the team. Because I, I was thinking, oh, the under 15s is easy. So under 16 is going to be easy. Mm -hmm. Yo, bruh. There was one point I couldn't even get the ball over the halfway line. Um, the girls were just all over me. But it was a good experience. It was like proper humbling. Um, and then when I made the under 16 squad, 
the next year. Um, I weren't no starting five or nothing like that. Mm-hmm. But I think it just taught me how to be effective even when you're not on the mm-hmm. court. Yeah. Because playing in Birmingham, I was playing like, if I didn't get in foul trouble, I'd play the whole game. Okay. Um, so it was it was good to <coughs> you can be effective on a team. Okay, okay. That's dope, that's dope. So then mm-hmm. after Birmingham, you said you made your way to Leeds. So you know, how yeah. did that, how did what what made you come to that decision on Leeds? And also, I know in Leeds, you was part of the Bucks, winning the Bucks as well. No, I wasn't. I, was, I, didn't, I didn't. No, you. I don't know. No, I was there though, but I didn't study. Oh, um, oh, right, 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 right. But you were, you didn't win the Bucks, but you were there. Okay, okay. So yeah, so I came to Leeds. Talk us you went to, oh yeah, I came to Leeds for a year because Coach Bambury recruited me. He was when I because. The under 18s, I captained the under 18s team. Um, and for one of the camps, M- Michael Ball, the head coach at the time, had loads of coaches involved in like a skills day sort of thing. Um, and then Coach Bambury was like, uh, come up for the weekend, see how you like it. Obviously, I liked it because the training was sick. And then um, based, then when I got there, he obviously got a new job in it. So Yeah, man. So I I wasn't studying, I didn't study. I, I took a gap year um, because I didn't have leads on my. I'd already applied for a UCAS, and then I didn't have leads on my UCAS. Oh. And then through clearing, I couldn't get through because the course that I wanted, they didn't have it. So I wasn't gonna just take any course. Um. So I thought I'll do a gap year and then I'll apply again next year and it. Um. But then, yeah, so I did. I, I came so, to Leeds. So were you just working at Leeds then? Yeah, I was working. I worked at Leeds. Was a terrible. Leeds was really good, but it was also it was a madness because <laughs> I worked at. At first, I worked at KFC. Okay. And I ate KFC every single day. When I tell you, <laughs> I put on so much weight. Oh. I'm like working out. How, I'm working out every single day, but I'm still putting on weight. That's yeah. how bad it was. I was eating KFC for literally like lunch and dinner pretty much every day. Mad. Uh, and then, yeah, but then, and then I was put on bare weight and it's so awful. I can't continue this. So then I quit KFC and then I got a job at, you remember JJB yeah, Sports? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the yeah, one in KFC. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a job there. Um, and then I just... I uh, st- stayed working there. Stayed working there and playing, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. and it obviously worked out good then. So, how did you find yeah, the whole yeah. Leeds year? Was it other than the working bit? Um, it was good. There was um, I learned lots of. I think I learned lots of life lessons, like um, mm-hmm. like for example, if you're speaking to a coach on the phone get them to send it you again in an email. Do you know what I mean? Whatever you, what agreement you make over the phone, you can't then prove that you've had that agreement. Oh. So like, I'll give you an example. Um, I was not meant to pay any cap because I wasn't working. And obviously when you're 18, you don't realise these things that actually, if you live in a house and you're not a student, you have to pay council tax on that house. So I wasn't working and everybody else in the, no, I was working. Everybody else was a student. So I had to pay council tax for the whole house, including everybody that lived in it. All right. All right. It was mad. And I was told when I came to Leeds, because my dad asked, he said, ask him about the council tax. And then um, he says, the people that I was speaking to, basically said, no, nah, you don't have to pay any council tax, nothing like that. Then towards the end of the season in Leeds, I was getting bare, bare letters like, you missed your day in court, you owe like £1,300 council tax, da, 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 da. this, that and the other, we're going back and forth. So then I ended up having to stay in Leeds over the summer because I thought, I don't want to have this debt in it. Yeah, yeah. So I had to work to pay yeah, off the debt. Well, but if I'd got it, I got an email that I didn't have to pay the council tax rather over the phone, then I could have said, look, boom, give it to the club, that's your problem, not mine. You say I don't have to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was a big um, and then but also I learned a lot about basketball like Ray was there yeah, I um, 
I um I was like Tina, the German German girl Tina, she was a bucket. Um Ruth, Nicolette, uh, Ellie was there. I'm yeah. trying to think who else was on our team. I think we had like yeah. Esther. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, Rachel as well. Yeah. yeah. And who? Rachel as well, right? Yeah, sure. Um, there were just loads of people from loads of different different environments. So it was nice to obviously all I'd known before that is Birmingham. Yeah. So it was nice to meet different people. um see how everybody else played, learn new things from them and stuff like that. So that was that was good. Cool, cool. And then moving forward you've gone over to Loughborough, so you're basically near enough back home, East Mid, Yeah. Not far from home. So yeah. So how was that? How did that all come about? What made you come to that decision? Then? And then, so when I was when I was eighteen, yeah, Loughborough wanted me to go there, yeah, and I picked Leeds. Um, and then after having that year in Leeds, Loughborough reached out to me again, and they were like, "Look," because I was so out of shape. Like I got called up to the GB under twenty squad, but I didn't even go yeah. because. Bro, oh, I was like, I, I was like three or four jean sizes bigger than when I left Leeds, yeah, than yeah. when I came. So I was like, I was, I was, I won't say I was huge, but I was, I was a lot bigger for like my shape. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't even go for, I ain't even gonna embarrass myself and show up there like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, so then I was speaking to the coach at Loughborough, letting him know like what's been going on. Um, Again, he invited me down there to play. Um, and then it just seemed like the right fit. Um, seemed like, yeah, 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 basically. So it was just signed, spoke to the people. They said I could get in. Um, they said, like, showed me where I'll be living and that. And it just all seemed good. So, yeah, I went. That's and um, really good decision. And then, um, yeah, yeah, is yeah, that yeah. Where, was Loughborough where you won the cup, right? Uh, Loughborough is not where I won. I won books what? when I was. So when I was at Loughborough, yeah. uh, we won, I was there for four years. We won books twice, um, and we won. Actually, I'm just remembering this now. Sorry, I didn't tell you did I? We won books <laughs> twice, and then in my third year at Loughborough, we we won the Division One like playoff championships. Yeah, yeah, the big yeah. one, the big one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that was that was really good. And then, so at Loughborough, I was playing my first, um, my first year I was playing with like Naomi Campbell. Um, I'm not sure if you know Jenny Rogers. Uh, Naomi Campbell plays for Sheffield Hatters now. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I know Naomi Campbell. And then um, later on down the line, like Georgia Jones joined uh, Loughborough. Oh, you got um, so my boy. Yeah. Yeah. So my second and third year. I think Georgia was a part of the roster. No, second, third and fourth year, Georgia was part of the roster. So it was really good um, to to work, to have her on the team, basically, and play with her. Because my second year, I played against her, and I, I like, love guarding Georgia. Yeah. Oh, serious? And in, in practice yeah. too, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, she, yeah, in practice all the time. Love it. Love it. We get under each other's skin. <laughs> 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 and then Loughborough, well, you know, was that? that <laughs> Wait, just on the edge. <laughs> on the edge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. not too far. <laughs> yeah. So wait, um, so after Loughborough, was it? That's when you went to WBBO Leicester Riders, right? No, so I played for, I played for Leicester Riders, and just at the end of, basically the next year was the WBBL. But I took that year out. Okay. So I played for them for four years and then the WBBI was introduced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything, everything. Everything Chris. Everything Chris. Everything Chris. Everything, everything Chris. Uh.